What's up everyone? It is your one and only PSGD brought to you by the power of PlayStation Share Factory. And um, this afternoon, it's Sunday, I've got the kids are out of my hair. I thought, why not do a quick video on the latest game which hit the Australian PSN on Friday morning called Adrift. But before I get too far into it, I just need to click a couple of buttons and show you this. Hey, hey, how are we? Here I am, PlayStation Gamer Dad. So, we're gonna jump into it, never done this before. We're using all PlayStation technology at the moment, so I'm not really sure how, how this is gonna turn out, but I'm trying to use a white screen. Let's, uh, let's jump into it, hey? So it's hit the PSN at 29.95, four eights are 32, about $8 an hour. I think that's an all right price. It's, I mean, it's half the price of a AAA game at the moment at say EB Games or online, which you could probably pick up. So it's it's borderline, $30. Replayability, not really sure just yet. Like I haven't gotten all the way through it. I kind of wanted to get this video out first instead. Um, but you know, I think 29 is just, on, it's on the border, right? But it, it looks and it plays really, really well. So, especially when it's work like this. Well, I haven't seen a space game produced on the PS4 oh or the PlayStation 3 of this nature for some time. Going through some of Adrift's FAQ guide stuff, they note that this is actually a space um, exploration experience. And you know what, that's that's exactly what it is. Like, it really is an experience more than a game, yeah? So far, what I can tell is you kind of wake up on this space station and all these alarms are going off and whatnot and there's beeping and there's you're just trying to work out what the heck's going on. Um, and you're getting this um, oh. this consistent person saying like, critical malfunction, critical error, that type of thing. And it's like, it's all kind of a bit overwhelming at first, right? And um, you sort of do a little bit of training. Uh, I'd like to say actually that the training for this game is really, really good. Um, and it really, really does help you a lot. And then after that, it's pretty much straight into the game. Now, one of the things I always get out is, is it playable in front of the kids? I'd say yes, absolutely. Um, there's nothing violent in the game, but I'd ask you this question though. Like, would you want to play it in front of the kids? Um, and me personally, probably not because there's specific types of information that you need to collect in order to fill um, the parts of the story so you can get a bit of an idea of what actually happens. Um, so like, if, you're, if I had kids oh. saying, dad, 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 what are you doing, what are you doing? Like I wouldn't be able to follow that story. Now I wanted to move on and I mentioned the training component really briefly before. Controls are really, really good. Uh, L2 descend, R2 ascend, there's a speed boost, which is X. You've also got pivots, um, so uh, L1 and R1. And then there's like an L3, which sort of automatically um, realigns you to sort of where the horizon is. Um, very, very easy to learn, very, very quick to pick up. And the mechanics are fantastic, right? Like the slowness, like the whole feel of being in space, like I haven't been in space, but I've watched plenty of movies where people have been in space. Everything's slow and there's like, you've got inertia and velocity. You can see that on the HUD too, which is always really good. You might be traveling, think that you're traveling straight, but you're actually looking to the left or to the right and you're actually traveling um, straight, but looking a different way. So your velocity is um, at a different point. It's really, really cool. Like they've, they've done a ballistic job on putting this thing together. One of the biggest things out of this game is the scenery for me. The mechanics are simplistic, controls are very, very quick and adaptive to learn. And at $29.95, I think it's good to get behind this particular developer and, and show a bit of support, especially Adam Orth of 505 has been really good on Twitter and he's been really helpful and he's, he's really integrated in the community. So with that guys, try out a bit of Share Factory stuff, have a bit of a look at Adrift, as always, thank you very much for taking the time to watch my vids. It's awesome. Please jump on to psgamerdad.com or the PS Gamer Dad Facebook page. And until next time, enjoy the PlayStation gaming. Ciao, guys.